we're just going to load the foot and we're going to get it pronating. So I'm going to have the foot here. This is the, the big toe. And as the foot collapses down, like that, the whole foot should spread apart. And a pronating foot should actually become a bigger foot. So I'm going to demonstrate on the left leg. We're going to take one wedge. We're going to place it underneath the ball of the big toe. So just we're then going to take this one and we're going to place it on the outside of the heel. So that goes just behind there. And we've made this nice wedge for the foot to collapse into. So then you just soften the knee, let your pelvis come forwards and totally relax your foot so you're not gripping with that foot. And as you do so, you should feel that arch just start to drop. You should feel the heel start to rock back, so it starts stretching away. And again, if you grip with the toes, it's going to stop that arch collapsing. So really relax the toes and just let it blend over the top. 80% of your weight in this front leg. Everything moving forwards, soften that knee and just start to trust that foot. Knee position, because we have our leg, two bones of the leg attached over that, that little bone in the foot there. It actually follows that bone unlocking. So, um, with this leg here, my knee just ever so slightly drifts inwards. And again, I'm not forcing it from the knee, I'm just letting it adapt to the foot and letting it take its natural course, um, which is slightly, probably over that big toe for me, but it might change for different people. Now, on top of that, we have a couple of other wedge positions. So, if these were ones which we went over in the session, these might be useful for you. One was this way here. So we had the heel on the wedge at the back, and then we had the wedge at the front. And this is going to allow that foot to spread apart this way more. So again, relax the foot, let it collapse, and you should see my arch just start to drop there as I put the weight into it. Now, for both these exercises, if you want to increase the pronation a bit more, you can just reach the same arm as leg, slightly across the body, which allows a little bit more weight to go into the ball of the big toe and just help that arch collapse down.